This is Twit. We sort of gave our view of what we believe Krita, and also you can tell us how to pronounce that if I, we get it wrong there. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give us the 30,000 foot view? What is this software and what problems is it solving? Uh, right now, Krita is, is created to uh, help people create new images from scratch. So, uh, where GIMP is an application you would use if you have a bunch of images and want to edit them or create some graphics for the web or uh, maybe do some collage stuff. Uh, Krita is meant to sit down with a blank piece of screen and start painting. Start sketching, develop your sketch into an image, and then develop your image into something that you can, can, can use as a book illustration, as a matte painting, uh, as a comic book. So it's, 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 it's really a creative application. And, and as such, I think it, it sort of complements uh, GIMP. GIMP will have more filters, we will have more brush and, 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 and more tools that make painting easier. So would this be closer than, I'm trying to think of the commercial world equivalent of it. Um, this would be closer to, I guess, uh, not Illustrator, or would that no. be a good... I Illustrator no. is vector stuff. Okay. Um, uh, well, the, you could say it's closest to uh, Coral Painter, but then Coral Painter is a bit of a special thing because it does all this natural media emulation that, that uh, many artists think is really unproductive because it's it's not predictable what you're doing. So we got a huge set of brushes, including all the normal pixel brushes and some really fun brushes to make shapes quickly, to hatch, to 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 uh, uh, simulate hair, stuff like that. Cool. Um, and so how did... So, go ahead, sorry. No, uh, you go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so uh, how did this get started and then how did you get involved? Well, it got started uh, a long time ago. Uh, way back at the Linux Congress, which was a conference in Germany, there was this guy and, and KDE was, had just started. Uh, Qt was just out and he had a hack for GIMP that would make GIMP use Qt, Qt file dialogues, and it would look good in a KDE desktop. This was before KDE 1. And then uh, people blew a gasket. Uh, how dare you touch our application and make it work with this uh, non-GPL uh, toolkit. Um, uh, Matthias Etter, he was the guy back then, I wasn't even involved. He was like, okay, we can do this. We can do this too. We're making our own image manipulation application. How hard can it be? Six months later, uh, basically nothing was working. Uh, and then um, uh, another six months later, someone else had picked up the project and did some stuff. And then someone else, another six months later, was like, how hard can this be? It can't be hard, can it? Six months and we should have something usable. And that's Ross ended around 2003 when you couldn't even paint. You could load an image and that was it. And at that time, uh, I got a graphics tablet. I was actually writing a novel and I needed to draw a map for my novel. So I wanted to have a Linux application to draw maps and I didn't understand GIMP. Well, my fault, not GIMP's fault, but I didn't understand GIMP at all. So what do you do? You start coding. And after starting my own application, which of course failed in two weeks because it's much harder than it looks like, uh, I started looking for applications that were small enough that I could understand them and promising enough that uh, I could believe that it would, would, would get somewhere. So I started coding and it was a huge coincidence, but at the same time, a couple of other people also started coding on Krita. And we, we, we just went on from there. A year later, we had a release. 